Hi everyone, this is Devashish from ddelectrotech.com. In my previous video, I have already shown you how to make a simple pickpock grammar and that was the breadboard version. I also uploaded an another video on how to make a universal pickpock grammar. Many people successfully build this visiting my website and downloading the necessary files. But those are serial programmer. So today I will show you how to make a USB pick kit too. So without wasting time, let's get started. First, you have to paint the layout on a glossy paper. Clean the copper clad with a scotch bite and then place the paper at the right position on the copper clad and iron it for 8 to 10 minutes. After that, put it inside the water and wait for 20 minutes. Actually, the time depends on the paper quality. Then try to remove the paper gently. When it is done, fill the broken line or unnecessary area with permanent marker. I am making another PCB for ICSP adapter. After that add the ferric chloride into the water and properly mix it. Then put those board inside it. And when unnecessary copper is properly dissolved then wash them with scotch white. Now time to drill the board. When it's done then start soldering. Now we have to put the microcontroller inside this IC base. But carefully remember that the microcontroller must have to loaded the bootloader. So you need a another pick programmer to do that. You can make that cheap serial programmer. I already leave a link in my description below to make this programmer. After loading the bootloader, put it into the base. Before connecting it with your computer, recheck everything because it may damage your computer permanently. If everything is ok, now time to connect the programmer with your PC. Now open the pick kit to software, if it detect your programmer, then you have to program any pick microcontroller. In order to do that, you need a ICSP adapter or you can directly use breadboard. You can also make a easily accessible board like this. To get the circuit diagram of this, go to the description section. Now time to program the microcontroller. Uh, so I am connecting it again with USB. Open the software again. You can see here it has detected my microcontroller. Now I am pressing the verify pick button and verifying is successful. Now import any hex file. I am importing a blinking program to check this. Now press the right button and see the message programming successful. To directly access the developer board put a tick under the VDD. Now connect a LED from the microcontroller board and the LED is blinking so it's working. If you want to make this then go to the description below I'll leave a link there or you can directly visit our website ddelectronic.com. Thanks for watching subscribe for more video like this and see you on my next video bye bye.